hi guys uh, welcome to our second uh, tutorial or uh, lecture on 5g and today uh, we will have a discussion on the spectrum uh, or the operating bands in 5g and as compared to uh, 2g 3g and 4g uh, there are different bands in 5g and uh, once we have discussed it you will have a very clear idea how uh, 5g bands actually work and which are the bands available and which are the duplexing modes and how the subcarrier spacing and uh, bandwidth basically the carrier bandwidth uh, works in 5g so <clears throat> basically uh, in terms of uh, 3gpp specifications uh, the release 15 uh, 3gpp specifications there are two uh, bands uh, two frequency basically regions uh, you can say uh, one is called fr1 and the other is called fr2 uh, the FR1, uh, the frequency or spectrum or the operating band basically ranges from 450 megahertz to 6 gigahertz. So it has your uh, low frequency components and also a bit of your high frequency uh, components as well. As you uh, might have seen, many deployments of uh, 5G have occurred in, uh, in 3 uh, gigahertz band. Uh, in uh, commercially and then we have our FR2 FR2 basically uh, refers to your millimeter wave uh, which is very high frequency uh, uh, frequency uh, range and it starts from uh, 24250 megahertz that translates to around 24 gigahertz and it ends at 52.6 gigahertz so this is uh, the FI2 is your millimeter wave, millimeter wave, and this is a new technology, a new uh, basically whole uh, frequency uh, range being introduced in 5G, and this is basically uh, your frequency range which provides you the maximum capacity, the maximum throughput in 5G. In terms of uh, bandwidth, you can allocate up to 100 megahertz hundred megahertz of uh, carrier bandwidth in FR1 and for FR2 you can allocate uh, 200 megahertz and this we are talking about one carrier for example in LTE we have 1.4 3 5 10 and max 20 so max 20 megahertz bandwidth so in 5g for fr1 we have 100 megahertz of maximum bandwidth and in fr2 we can even allocate 200 and even allocate 400 megahertz of bandwidth then we come to your uh, sub carrier spacing in your fr1 range we have uh, 15 30 and in some cases we can go to 60 and for your FR2 as you have very high frequency uh, communication so in order to compensate for your coherence time bandwidth and your Doppler uh, effect you can have your subcarrier spacing of 60 kilohertz 120 and up to 240 so that is how basically uh, the operating bands in 5G work and according to those uh, bands we have our subcarrier spacing and bandwidth. The third thing is basically your duplexing mode and duplexing mode I mean FDD or DDD. Your FR1 which basically starts from 450 megahertz to 6 gigahertz is available both in your time division duplex mode and your FDDD uh, as well. So you can deploy your uh, 5G in DDD or in FDD. Uh, the FR2, that is your millimeter wave, uh, as per the release 15, it is only available in your TDD mode. So if you want to deploy millimeter wave, right now uh, the available uh, topology or the duplexing mode is TDD only. So I hope that after this uh, tutorial, you have a very clear idea about uh, the spectrum or the operating bands in 5G and we will meet you next time in our next lecture on 5G. Thank you.